Latitude Zero Signature. Brought to you recorded from the tunnel of what the fuck has going on outside with the weather. Hey, right now, Caden's a cigar vlog. <laughs> okay, so, uh, apparently Colorado has developed a bit of a rainy season. And yes, it is raining right now, so, uh, yeah, I got an umbrella. I'm in the tunnel. And uh, it, 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 I don't think it's actually stopped raining all day. As I mentioned, there are a buttload of worms all over the place. Okay, so anyway, that's two zero. I've always seen these pop-up magazines, and, not magazines, uh, catalogs and such. I don't think I've ever actually had a chance to try one until now. So that's what I'm gonna do. Obviously, seeing as how I have to have an umbrella with me because it's raining like a son of a bitch, I am going to have to do this off camera because otherwise, um, well, I, I kind of don't have enough hands. So uh, yeah, uh, give me two shakes and I will you know, yank the foot band, get everything sparked up, and hopefully, not end up slipping and falling on my butt due to a random worm grabbing my toe. Okay, two shakes. Okay, so, I went particularly well, as I think it did. I'm probably gonna have yanked this uh, main, main band here just because of the fact that it is um, it, it kind of bothering me. That's it, it's kind of stuck there, so I may end up leaving this one off. Anyway, nobody cares about the band. But where is Mellow? No spice. It's a little sweet, clean tobacco. Overall, kind of chill. I want to say subtle sweet is. Slightly perfumey retro here. All right, so far so good. I'm gonna go ahead and get the stand on the niche and uh, can't remember what I was gonna say in the meantime. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about the uh, box press. I always find it funny whenever you have a box press. Yeah, they sit flat when you set them down until you actually start smoking because they always round out. Anyway, I'm gonna get this down to the first inch. Okay. Got a solid engine. Uh, this kind of is going to hammer home a, a very, very simple tip uh, that I did not follow myself. But basically, if you have a cigar and you grab the cigar in one hand and the band in the other, and the band freely moves, go ahead and take it off. If it does not move, do not take it off because it is stuck to the wrapper. I do not understand why in the hell in 2023 this is still a problem. <laughs> but it is, and it's an irritating one. They take a plain piece of paper with a logo and the band, and it is the band, you know. And they just take this big gub of goo, just stick it on there and press it down. And yeah, the band stays on. The thing is, it sticks to the actual cigar. When you take it off there, it rips the whole thing apart. Anyway, minor pet peeve aside, flavor-wise, very, very floral retro ale. I, I want to say almost poop free retro ale. Slightly sweet, clean tobacco, and kind of a graham crackery note in the actual mouthfeel, or mouth taste, flavor thing. You get what I'm saying. Mouth graham cracker, nose flowers. Yeah, about the simplest way I can put that. Yes, I know audio is going to sound really messed up because of the tunnel, but the alternative is um, take this one. Anyway, I'm going to get this down to the halfway point where I think the halfway point is, and hopefully this uh, nice little wrapper girch here will end up not becoming a massive pain in the ass. So that said, get back to that halfway point. Okay, that's a pretty good halfway point. Go ahead and tap that. So far, seems to be getting a little bit of a spice. I want to say like a baking spice. A little sweet, a little bitter, a little tobacco, touch of breadiness, kind of a graham crackery breadiness. Baking spice. Overall, striking me as a very good coffee companion. But I think it's the retrohale change after that first inch. Retrohale still has a little bit of that kind of floral note. Uh, every so often you'll get a little bit of a party note. Sweet birdiness, kind of like you, you know, complimenting the uh, 
peppers them up. So far, good. And uh, has been holding up fairly well, even despite the um, <clears throat> bite taken out of it. So hopefully, when I get down to the nub, this will either A, build in flavor, or B, have a, have a little bit of a transition. All we know is find out. So I'm going to go ahead and get this down to the nub, and hopefully not get irritated with this, uh, trying to hold everything together. So, so I'm going to get this down to the nub, and uh, hopefully it'll stay intact. That is a lot of water. Okay, so anyway, getting pretty much down to the nub. So far, the uh, little bite that the band took out of the wrapper hasn't been too detrimental. Obviously, you have to hit that little touch up every now and then to get rid of the little flake, but overall, been smoking actually very, very well. Flavor wise, pretty much is uh, one of those cigars that builds. So, the longer you smoke it, the more you start noticing the flavors. And it's pretty much uh, sweet, a little bitter, baking spice, a little bit of uh, rain crack readiness, breadiness, retro hell kind of. This is kind of an unusual mix of a floral note with that kind of bready graham cracker note as well. Overall, very good cigar. As far as the price goes, uh, you're just going to have to look at the catalog. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, anyway, drink pairings. I'm going to say like a sweeter coffee. So, some kind of like espresso with a... I mean, good, good quality coffee, slightly sweetened, or possibly sweet bourbon. These make uh, for pretty good little compliments. Alternatively, if you had a peaty scotch, that would be a nice little contrast. Wouldn't necessarily recommend anything overly smoky though, because this is actually it's kind of weird. it's smoke, but it's not smoky. If that makes sense. It's pretty much got that uh, sweet, spicy, like baking spice, bready note, you know, kind of like just, well, you know, have a little cinnamon roll. Yeah, I think that works. Nice coffee and a cinnamon roll. Well, anyways. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much all I got for this one. Excellent cigar, definitely check them out. Uh, be careful about the band because they do not use self adhesive bands. They do the old school gobba goo, get everything stuck, and yeah. So just be careful about the bands. Otherwise, if you get a chance, check them out. It's getting a little cold in here. <laughs> anyway, not much else to say. Uh, not much else to say about this other thing. Definitely check them out if you can afford them. That's it. If you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you've had a different experience. Beyond that, check out my Twitch channel Sunday, Sunday night to Friday night, 10 to 2 a.m. You'd think I'd said that enough to actually get that, you know, without a hitch. Anyway, if you can't make the live broadcast, they will eventually show up on YouTube, and I've yet to actually get around to putting the link on the main page. I'll get to it someday. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. I'll see you next time.